Hey, this is Tim Pierce. Paul Reed Smith has relaunched the McCarty 594 line with some brand new pickups. He sent Howard Lease over with his Holy Grail Les Pauls, two of them, so that we could compare notes. Brand new PRS, Holy Grail, vintage Les Paul. So that's what you heard, back, side by side, those two guitars. Howard and I are going to talk more about this, play some more. Howard, you remember from Heart and in Bad Company, great guitar player, fun guy, nice sense of humor. Click the link below to take the 14-day free trial and our online masterclass, over 100 hours, over 1,000 videos. We just added another 74 videos recently in eight new episodes. Howard, what year is that guitar? So 1959, Gibson Les Paul Standard. <laughs> you had it a long time? I have had it a long time. I uh, traded a guy a pickup truck for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe he still has that truck. Oh, what year was that? Do you remember? <laughs> oh, probably in the late 70s, something like that. Oh, what, a, what a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah. So I still have the guitar. He still has the truck. I think I came out ahead on that deal. <laughs> <laughs> Tone's pretty much identical. Yeah. I love that overtone. So this has more reach when you pick it harder. So this one sounds the same when you pick lighter, but it actually reaches I can further. Bring it up. call me because I would take him out on the road with Bad Company and play him through my giant rig and I'd go, oh, it's still got too much, too much low end. Oh, so we we dropped the winds down and I think he's got it perfect because the <laughs> balance is pretty much dead on. We'll have to try that on this one too. But so you were you helped develop this. That's a little great. bit. I little mean bit, I, yeah. I'm his lab rat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I take he sent me he sent me one and I take it out on the road and just Try it out <laughs> loud, and then uh, call on the next day and say, "Well, here's what I thought of that." You know, so yeah, that's that's part of the fun of this is exploring. You know, is trying to build a better mousetrap. Let's go straight to the treble pickup. Let's do your okay. your Holy Grail Les Paul. Old guitars with old dry wood are, are going to sound better. I mean, you don't even have to plug them in yeah. to tell that they yeah. resonate yeah. better. But Paul's very picky about drying the wood, and he gets it to a certain percentage and. <laughs> And so everybody knows the reason I'm using his hands instead of mine is that everybody's hands sound very different. So in order for this to be a good shootout, it has to be one pair of hands. Okay, this is gonna, we're gonna have to talk about this because why, <laughs> why does that win? <laughs> or does it win? <laughs> I think it does. I mean, it sounds the same, only more. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about this Les Paul. <laughs> this is a 57 gold top, and these PAFs are the original pickups in the from the burst. Gotcha. I put them in this guitar because I wanted zebras in the burst. So yeah. those are from a 61 335. Gotcha. But these are the original pickups from the 59. Well, I just thought we'd try this because it has covers on the pickups. Right. So, so it'll match more closely. It's just amazing because there's nothing that sounds better than those guitars. Now, I have to say the top end might be a bit sweeter on this. Yeah. Well, he was looking to not get that ice picky. That ice picky thing. Kind of thing. And this is a production run guitar. This is not a private stock guitar. This is just one of the, one of the regular PRSs. Right. And these guitars, with all the new features, there's a new finish on there. These new pickups, there's a number of uh, the bridge has been shaved down to be a little more responsive. Less mass, so the strings can hold the bridge firmer to the body. See, it's 
I'm getting it to be as spiky as I can get it, and it's still comfortable to Still sweet. Yeah, Paul was saying that the more downward pressure here, the better it sounds. So he's been working really hard yeah. to make sure that, that there's plenty of downward pressure. Dropping but, the mass a little bit. One thing I have to say about Paul is that he never stops trying to make his work better and his guitars better. That's the he thing. He, he never stops. He bugs me <laughs> it's, all it's, the time because he goes, okay, I got a new mod for your amplifier exactly. send it to me and I go, but i, I love this one it. yeah it's fine like it is no 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 so you send your stuff back to the factory and you'll get it back and he's always like chasing the dragon you know and yeah. he uh he never quits he's on that tone quest that most of us are on and so yeah. the little improvements i mean he even shaved the wheels down the adjustment wheels just to make that downward pressure just it's got to be just a couple percentage points, but you add it all up, and magic happens. I love the balance between the two pickups. And this is real sweet. Well, like you, I was a studio guy. That's what gotcha. I did. You know? yeah. So when I yeah. got asked to join the band, at first I worked with the band on the first record before I was even in the band. Because I read some of the history of Heart two days ago, and I saw that you joined right at the beginning, but not at the very beginning. Right. Yeah. But I played on that first record a lot. We had our own little bitty label. I mean, it was one of the first indie labels. And uh, we did the record in Canada, and we were selling out of the back of our van, and we had our club dates. So we took it down to America and everybody turned us down. Clive Davis turned us down twice. Wow. So we said, well, we'll just do it ourselves. And we put it out ourselves. Went four platinums on the first record by an unknown band. Pretty good. Good start. And then everybody's calling us back. Well, I wanted to sign you, man, but are you, uh, <laughs> there are guys, somebody else in the company wouldn't let me. But so, yeah. Real do-it-yourself kind of a deal. You do that very carefully cultivated messed up natural look that takes us hours to achieve. Are you nervous? It's the first night of the tour. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. 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 We're all tense. Everybody's kind of tense. Some of us are pup tense. Some of us are camping tense. But we're all tense. Okay, ready for another one? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like hard to believe. Just love that balance. This guitar is one that Paul sent me. This he called this the magic guitar. So this guitar has got the prototype pickups, but we've changed the bass pickup. It's got a little more low end to it. It's a little bit woofier. Than the new pickups, and would, I like the new ones better because they're the balance is right and it doesn't have that much bass. Ooh, that sounds good. It's got you mind? That, it's got that tone. Yep. We call that sound chalky because it's dry. I've heard that. Yeah, tone. so we I call that chalky. I go here, here, how dry and chalky that sounds. You know, yeah. you just get the the old yeah. wood and. The... I can't believe it. That that sounds better. It's, <laughs> that's, that's just weird. <laughs> Let's try this other production double cut with the new finish and the new pickups. Black cherry and see how little the lines are. Yeah, that's that's those are years. Wow. So you figure out that one didn't take as many years, right, to go thirteen inches or whatever it is. So you were telling me the more lines, the more stress on the tree, and the the better the sound you think. I think they're, yeah. they just struggle to grow in the bad weather. And so the growth lines are much smaller and seems like that wood is denser. What's interesting about this stuff is on the big leaf maple, sometimes it only grows on one side of the tree because only one side of the tree is stressed if it's growing on 
the side of a hill and one side stressed and that the stress side goes curly. It's not genetic. It's all about stress. I never knew that. So what happens is if you have a forest with trees and daddy tree falls over, baby tree gets a lot of light and baby tree grows fast, those go curly. So if you find a dead tree, you've got yourself curly maple somewhere around. Clear and strong, no ice pick trouble. No, no, and, and the balance is good between the pickups. Oh, see, I love the middle. Middle, I love the middle. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> Okay, try that riff on this guy. <laughs> Here I am ordering, ordering around <laughs> Howard Leeds. <laughs> the riff I play virtually every night. Good. And uh, it's recorded on a burst just like this one. I'd say it sounds pretty much the same. That's just got a little bit more pop to it. Arguably, this one sounded better. So about a month ago, we're down in Texas. It's a... ZZ Top Bad Company and Cheap Trick on ZZ's 50th anniversary tour of of t in Texas. So it was gigantic, 25,000 people shows. And uh, the guy who has the All Right Now burst brought it down for me to play it. And uh, so we get to the end of the night, and Bad Company now plays All Right Now because we insisted. Paul never wanted to play it. We've never played it, only in the solo band. But... Uh, so we're doing it in Bad Company show, and so the guy brought the guitar down, and I sit, he asked me if I would play it. I go, absolutely, I love to play it. It's all yeah. faded, beat out, yeah, fifty nine, and I plugged it in, and it was like, whoa, it's just hot as hell, hotter than all my regular guitars. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. If you are a subscriber, please ring the bell. It lets us let you know every time a new video is released. You can also support us by clicking the link below for the online masterclass. As I always say, we're up to over 100 hours of lessons and content, over a thousand videos, and we add more every month. There's a 14-day free trial. Take your time, take a long look. We'd love to have you join us.